Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to show all of you is how I color my concrete black. So I have used a lot of different techniques for this. I've tried acrylic paint, a bunch of different concrete pigments, and I finally came across a concrete pigment that really gets a nice black color. So we're gonna go ahead and go over the steps and where I bought it from. I'm gonna link it in the description box below for all of you as well. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kayla. I make videos all about concrete, candles, and crafts. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post in the future. Let's go ahead and jump into this video so I can show you how I make my concrete black. All right, so these are the supplies that you're going to need. I use these silicone bowls that you can get off Amazon. These are paint sticks. And then you're going to need some kind of mold to pour the concrete in. I got both of these off Amazon. And then I use the Solo Cups to measure out the concrete water. And then this is the black dye that I use. It's actually carbon black dye. I'll have it linked below. I keep it in this bag just because it was pretty messy when I opened the box. And then you'll need some gloves and a mask as well. All right, so I want to show all of you what I do with the silicone bowls. So you just squeeze it and the concrete will flake off. And then I have a, like a bucket behind me that I dump all of my extra concrete in to dispose of it. And then you can take the stick and I usually just scrape out the concrete in the middle just to get any extra stuff because you don't want the dried concrete mixed in with the wet concrete. So it'll start to make clumps and that's how you get wet spots on your container. So I just do this before I use the bowls just to make sure that none of that old stuff is getting in the new stuff. All right, so I use these solo cups to measure. So I know that one, almost up to one a cup will go into my cylinder mold. So I'm just adding a tiny bit more for my little tea light. And then I'm getting my measuring spoons now I don't with this black I do kind of a overflowed quarter of a teaspoon um, I kind of let it ball up on the top um, you can level it out and measure it that way I just do two scoops of the overflowed quarter teaspoon um, for the most part the color always comes out the same and you can always add more if you want it darker or you can keep a little bit out if you'd like it lighter. Now with this carbon black, I have noticed that I don't need to add as much water. Um, it also does that with my blue pigment, um, but this carbon black, it actually will really soak up with the water really well and you won't have to do a lot of st heavy stirring, which I really like. All right, so now as I'm pouring it into the mold, I always pour a little bit at a time, and then I rotate and tap the mold. And this process, just be patient with it. Um, you know, a lot of these molds will get bubbles. Uh, the concrete won't uh, fill up correctly if you don't tap them. So it does take a little bit of time, just a couple minutes of this, and you'll have a nice smooth finish at the end. So this specific mold, I am pulling up the edges and kind of dropping it on the table. Uh, this mold actually came in a bundle with, I think there were six 
five other ones with a total of six and I just cut the edges in between so that way I could have individual molds. All right, so I'm gonna let these set for about three hours and I'm gonna come back and unmold them. So these have set for three hours, so we're gonna go ahead and unmold them. Now I always kind of peel off the excess before I take the mold off. It just makes it easier to sand. Now on this cylinder mold, a lot of people have issues with this mold, and this is how I unmold it. I peel away the sides first, and then I take my whole hand and I roll it down, all the way down to the bottom. And then there's a lip at the bottom, so I just pull that part over the lip and I work all the way around until it's all over the lip and then it easily pulls off. So for the sanding, I use 80 grit and sandpaper. I bought it in a big sheet and then I just cut it into little squares. So you're just wanting to sand the whole bottom just to make sure there's no sharp edges um, and any extra concrete kind of protruding from the side. You'll see that more on the tea light, uh, but you just wanna make sure that it's all smooth on the bottom so no one cuts themselves or scratches their furniture. So after you sand, you can go ahead and seal. I usually wait about 24 hours, and then I seal with polycrylic. So whatever sealer you're using, you can go ahead and do that. And here's how they turned out. So as you can see, the black I used before on the owl, it was more gray, so I love this carbon black. All right, so that was my video on how to color your concrete black. As you all saw, it really makes the concrete really dark, which is awesome. Um, a lot of the pigments I was using before, they were coming out a little bit more gray. Um, and I didn't really have to use a lot of this pigment either, which is really nice because then it doesn't mess with the consistency and the structure of the concrete. So it's really still nice and durable. So if that video is helpful for you, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me know that this type of content you all want to continue to see. If you feel like I missed anything or you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comment box and I will get right back to you. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.